Chances are, if you bought a TV in the past five years, it uses a combination of LED and LCD technology to provide you with a crisp, clear image. An LED TV is really just an LCD panel which uses LED lights to illuminate it. Here's how the LCD works. Polarization is a key concept in the production of a picture. Polarization simply means the direction that the light wave goes up and down, or oscillation. And from an unfiltered or unpolarized light source, the oscillation of light happens in all directions. Polarization is used in sunglasses to reduce unwanted glare while keeping light that actually allows us to see. The trick with a TV is to control those directions with polarization filters. Two filters are used in an LCD panel like so. The panels are placed in front of the LED backlight, perpendicular to each other, with only vertically polarized light able to get through the first filter, and no light being able to get through the second. But if no light can get through the screen, then how do we see an image? This is where the LCDs come in. Liquid crystal displays. The liquid crystals themselves are complex molecules that are naturally twisted 90 degrees. When light strikes the crystals, it reflects around them, changing the polarization of the light. Now the light is able to get through the second screen, as its polarization has changed. The clever thing about liquid crystals is that the degree to which they are bent can be controlled by an electric field, with more voltage causing them to unbend. In this way, the intensity of light emitted by the LCD can be controlled by changing the voltage from no light let through to maximum light let through. These subpixel units all have their own electrodes so that they can be controlled independently. Have you ever noticed the dots in your TV? These are called pixels and for the most part contain three subpixels of different colors. A color filter is put over a subpixel to obtain the desired color, red, green, or blue. The TV has millions of subpixels which are all controlled in sequence to produce a picture. By dimming the blue and green, red light is produced. Dim blue and red to get green, and red and green to get blue. If more than one subpixel is on, then the eye blends the colour together to get a new colour. For example, leaving red and blue subpixels on will give magenta. Each subpixel has 256 levels of brightness in most cases, and up to 16.7 million colours can be created by combining various levels of subpixel intensity. 